my today's topic is for business owners business owners have started this business they've created this business with the intention to keep this business in the family they want to pass it on to the next generation but when the next generation takes over there is going to be tax implications to avoid that there are very a lot of strategies a lot of insurance strategies that can be used and that's where the main concern comes a lot of time business owners want to use these insurance strategies to pass the business to the next generation for estate planning purposes and for insurance what you need is health if you do not have health we cannot use those strategies so in this video i want to give a little bit more peace to the business owners just for the reason in case you are not insurable you have a health issue for the reason the policies get declined but you still want to get something there is another way you can definitely have a policy in the corporation which can take care of all the taxes due which can take care for the smooth transition of the business to the next generation which can take care of the estate planning needs but since you're not insurable you can use your spouse because your spouse has an insurable interest on your death all the shares of your corporation will be gone automatically to your spouse so if you have a spouse then that's the best option to buy a policy on your spouse if your spouse is insurable if your spouse is not insurable then the problem still stays but if you have a spouse who's healthier than you even if the spouse is rated spouse is healthier than you and insurable you can buy a policy in the corporation where the corporation is the owner your spouse is the life insured corporation is the beneficiary and that way on the death of both the deaths you get a big lump sum is given to the corporation now when you are gone automatically the shares pass to your spouse and on the death of the spouse everything will be paid the death benefit will be paid to the corporation you can buy a policy only on your spouse or you can buy a policy joint last to die in the joint last to die policy even if you are uninsurable even if you are a decline you're still on the policy so you and your wife and join last to die policy means on both the debts and that's the time all the tax kicks in so that's the time you want to save that and that's why you buy a joint last to die policy where you are one life who's declined your wife your spouse is the second life who has an insurable interest even if she's not active in the business is a second life and on both the debts the death benefit kicks in which can really help your next generation pay tax take care and keep the legacy in the family feel free to call me and i can help you more on that i'm sim gucker 6478897290 thank you